morning. Um, yeah, Dickens Street car park. Bit of an issue going on there at the moment. Um, saw in the news yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before, um, the council have said that obviously they are looking to flog it. Um, the people involved with the Millennium Centre, the Afro-Caribbean Centre, uh, namely Cliff Walker, shout out to Cliff, massive legend. Um, yeah, they said they were surprised by the news. Um, I'd say I'm surprised by the fact they're surprised because I read about it and I think I shared it online the other week and I read about it several weeks ago. And the report that I read it in, that's been around for weeks. Um, I will admit though that when it comes to sharing information, the local authority counts are diabolical. Um, but yeah, it's going to be an interesting one because the Dickens Street car park is the access route into the uh, Millennium Centre car park. Thus, if that land is sold and it's on, owned by somebody private, say a friend of a friend who's a developer, it would make a lot of money. Um, yeah, it will mean that the centre will need to spend some money um, redesign their car park, I guess, which is probably not something they have lots of money um, or available money to to spend on. Um, equally, uh, it was interesting to read that the local authority reckon that they have been, well, it's costing, it's been costing a lot of money to maintain the Dickens Street car park, because if you look at it and compare it to the Afro-Caribbean Centre's car park, um, Dickens Street car park is a shithole. So, God knows what we spend the money on. But anyway, we'll see you in time, I guess, who buys it, what's built there, and how it turns out.